Curtis Lawyer History. Arwen, North China is a very long history country. And uh, Chinese New Year has far reaching history over 30,000 years. And the origin of the festival can be traced back to the workshipping activities in China's Asian society. The most important festival in China is Chinese New Year's. As for me, my family will uh, ready to celebrate these festivals during one month. Today, I want to introduce the history and origin of the Chinese New Year. And then I will do the three topics about to introduce the Chinese New Year. First one, I will talk about when is the Chinese New Year. When is the Chinese New Year? And then I will talk about the real origin of the Chinese New Year. Third one, I will talk about the traditional ways to celebrate Chinese New Year in the history. First of all, I would like to introduce the time of Chinese New Year. How do people judge when the New Year is coming? The date of Chinese New Year changes each year, not the same day every year, because it's based on the lunar calendar. And well, the Western Gregorian calendar is based on the Earth orbit around the Sun. The date of Chinese New Year is not is determined according to the moon's uh, orbit around the Earth. So Chinese New Year is fall on the second new moon after the lighter solstice. Then I will through the timeline to introduce the Chinese New Year. It's hard to know Shang Dynasty people how to celebrate Chinese New Year because Shang Dynasty is the beginning of the Chinese history. And uh, but it well but it widely accepted that circumventional gifts to gods and uh, ancestors were invented through the Zhou Dynasty when the term Nian first appeared on the historical. Nian is a line like this, but the name also means New Year. And many of the ways in which the New Year is now celebrated can be traced back to the story about it. According to the folklore, Nian would raise from the sea each year to divorce people and uh, live story. Careful of the beginning, the tasty snack people used to wait until one man made a life changing. Observation, Nian, this pig is sharp too and uh, hardly sexy, was terrified of loud songs and uh, color red. This is, why this is the reason why people use the, the uh, loud songs like firecrackers or the color red to celebrate the Chinese New Year. I find these pictures in the website, but I don't make sure that it's the true Nian. I think it's uh, true because the big eyes, sharp tooth, and look like a lion, and to fight with people, and people use the loud songs and the color eye to scare pig and to fight with pig. In the Han Dynasty, the year celebration become fixed to the beginning of the new year and the, of the new lunar cycle. Ever since the holiday has been celebrated according to the 12th moon cycle. Third part, I will introduce the how, to, how people celebrate it on the Chinese New Year. First one on the northern and southern dynasty. People like candles or oil lamps and uh, keep the village all night. And um, custom, the custom is of keeping watch on the edge of one year. And uh, that can keep away the uh, owl plugs and uh, uh, epidemics with the drive away. As for me, my family also returning uh, return this 
hospital. Uh, when the Chinese New Year's begin, uh, and uh, all of the my family members will go to the, my grandparents' home and to uh, like during one night to talk about our like New Year's life or the past year life, and it's very happening. On the Tang Dynasty, the Gong power was discovered, and people used the Dan Fu to make a bad records. And uh, on the Song Dynasty, the paper was discovered, so people used the paper, like paper tubes, came to replace the uh, Dan Fu, and uh, it's more useful, it's more popular until now. The, Crackers with the red color. Wrapped in red, a large color of China, uh, of Chinese cra firecrackers become increasingly popular to enhance celebration and uh, religious economies. The red paper lasts around for at least a day. After lighting a firecracker, so as now to swap away the good luck. And uh, this is the fact after fire, firecrackers, and it's red color, it means lucky. And this also, Fu, is traditional things to sleep on the windows and floor, and it also means uh, lucky for all years. And I think it's not good for the environment, and uh, the Chinese government to want people decrease to various characters. Now I introduce the Chinese New Year. I feel there are three main points. First one is I introduce the determining time of the Chinese New Year. Second, I introduce the origin of the Chinese New Year. Third one, I introduce how people celebrate the Chinese New Year history. Now I think you are not strangers of the Chinese New Year. And uh, you can tell with your friends about Nian's story. It's a bit yeah, scary, but I think it's more interesting. If we have opportunities, we can celebrate Chinese New Year together for the next years. Thank you.